high uh, internet, I guess. Um, just wanted to make this video sort of for myself to document this uh, Bell's palsy thing. I got this afternoon, but also for anyone out there that might get it and is freaking out and just to, just had my own personal experience with it and my own thoughts. Um, so anyway, uh, probably on Monday, my neck started to hurt and I was thinking, ah, it's just neck pain. Kind of like if you sleep on your neck wrong. Or I do jujitsu and lots of weightlifting, so I thought maybe it was just from that, from being choked or strained. Uh, so, you know, I was just thinking, oh, I'll change my sleep schedule up, whatever. Then three days later, I guess, from that, um, you know, I had some drinks with some friends the night before. Things were chill. Wake up, you know, kind of with a hang hangover and all of that, but that's fine. Neck still sore. Um, then it started to spread a bit, and I was like, man, my neck just is getting more and more sore, and I would always massage it, like, right around here, all this kind of stuff. But still, you know, I'm thinking it was from training, and it still might be, I don't know, that when I was looking up stuff from about Bell's palsy, no one really talks about the neck, which was here, you know, and it's still sore now, but I didn't, it, this happened very quickly, like within half an hour, as I was eating, that's when I really started to notice something weird, um, because eating was hard, and it almost for, like, you know, because I can't feel the side of my face, here, I'll try smiling real quick, it's like Two-Face from Batman, do without the glasses, and me trying to get my tongue to touch this side. There we go. It was pretty hard. I think maybe my tongue slips out almost, but this face is pretty numb. I'd say it kind of reminds me of, it's like you're, when your arm's asleep, but it's your face. Or maybe kind of if you're at the dentist and they numb your mouth, sort of like that, but it's right out here. You know, I'm feeling, feeling. You know, just really this whole left side of my face. Nothing here. This feels great. Nothing really with my ear. But it's very, I mean, it's strange. I mean, it's pretty scary because I had no idea what the hell was going on. Hi, guys. Here's me opening my mouth. Yeah, so it happened within probably half an hour. Like, it was accelerating pretty quick. I'm, Oh, my neck's kind of in pain to like, oh, what the hell's going on? Like, I'm trying to eat, and it's so hard to get the food over here. Like, I'm kind of dripping it out, falling out of my mouth. And for a bit, it felt like my whole throat was closing in. Like, oh, my God, I'm going to, like, I won't be able to breathe soon. Everything's like, so I was like, is this some kind of crazy allergic reaction? What the hell's going on? I also have epilepsy and sleep apnea as well. So I was thinking, oh, my God, here's, like, another brain thing on top of all these other brain issues I have already, so I went to the bathroom, because I was aware of Bell's palsy, this one guy like uh, Half Thor Bjornsson, the guy that plays the mountain, he had it at one point, so I was aware of the disease existing, where the face goes numb, so I went to the bathroom, was touching my face, and then did the smile, and that's when I go, holy crap, what is happening here, so you know, you start to freak out, because I'm like, am I going to be dead, like, what's, am I going to have a stroke, will I be dead, what's happening, you know, that's where my mind was going. So I just wanted to make this video for anyone out there that might be feeling this way. And I think maybe certain words that I say come out weird because it's my mouth isn't, I'm like feeling, feeling, feeling. It's almost like sometimes I spit my mouth out. Anyway, that was random, but. So I had a pretty good panic because in my head I'm like, what if this spreads and all of a sudden I can't feel my arm and my leg and it just keeps going. So I drove myself to the hospital. I was a bit worried even about driving, but. No one else was home, so went there. They, you know, I explained it to him because I feel great. Like, and I, besides, like a bit of a hangover, I'm like feeling awesome. I go, "Hey, can I check myself in?" And they go, "Why?" I'm like, you know, pull the mask down. Oh, you know, because it's this. And they go, "Oh gosh, okay, yeah, we're gonna have to check you for a stroke, so don't freak out." So they take him to this room. And this was, a, I mean, it's hard to not freak out. There's like 16 doctors come in, and you're, you're like right in the middle surrounded by these uh, do doctors and made the joke that uh, I'm like, this feels like the, the beginning of like a porn hub scene. <laughs> Cause you know, I'm just like, you like take your shirt off, sir. And like, you're surrounded by all of these <laughs> doctors and nurses. I'm like, 
okay? But they were doing these tests, like, you know, follow the finger. Can I push up against their arm, push down? You know, how does my face feel? Can I feel? They were doing those tests, and all of that was going great. I was making jokes on one of the the neurologists that saw me. She actually is a blue belt in jujitsu, which is really awesome. I just started, so I'm a white belt. So we almost ended up talking more about her tips for me to train, because that was one of my first questions that said, can I still train? Can I still roll? Can I lift weights? Yeah, do everything as you would. It's not contagious. She said, watch out for your eye. You might have a hard time closing it. So if you're ro rolling with people in jujitsu, like maybe watch out for your eye. But and anyway, so after those initial tests, they bring me into a uh, CAT scan, I guess. I'm assuming it's a CAT scan. Just to do these, you know, brain scans, make sure things are cool. I guess there was like a blood vessel thing. And they took some blood to check for uh, blood clots. And all of that came back chill, completely fine brain, good blood vessels, like no clot stuff. So, and then they just explained like, hey, you had this thing, Bell's palsy, I guess. I looked it up, maybe like 40 or 50,000 people in the U.S. get it a year. A viral infection, which when I think about it being a viral infection, I go, whew. Because in my head, I'm thinking it's some kind of crazy brain disease. But it's, I guess, the nerve that controls the side of your face flares up. And it just like numbs your face. Um, and it's really time is the cure, it would appear, where for some people it can go away after a few weeks, sometimes it can take up to six months, fingers crossed, I'm not six months, um, it would be awesome if it was gone in like two minutes from now, but they did prescribe me a steroid for a week, prednisone or something like that, and then a antibacterial, I think, um, and the steroids is like once a day, this antibacterial is for a week and I take it like th three times a day every eight hours. Can't remember the name of that one. Um, but it's a, it's a strange thing because I feel completely fine. Once I realize it's nothing crazy, I'm not gonna just die. Um, and it's a viral infection and not like a embedded brain issue. And I go, whew, okay, it's just kind of like ride the wave, I guess. And you know, I was kind of joking around like, you know, now my friends or whoever can make jokes with me, jokes about this, like, hmm. Maybe don't go on dates, you know, that might be hard to explain. So I'm, I'm almost a bit anxious about some of the social stuff, but, you know, I'm in a band and, uh, you know, having to talk to people. Not that I'm, I mean, everyone's get it, will understand. I don't think people will mock me, but I think I just wanted to make this video just to document my current state, my feelings right now. I'm trying to remain calm. It seems to come in waves about a hour ago, um, my face felt more and um, almost like it was getting worse. And now it's kind of uh, back in a kind of regular sort of, it's weird, like the more I talk, I feel like my mouth is getting tired, like I have to put more energy into it. And I can't tell if, you know, I'm getting tired or if it's just my face is numb. And so it's like, I'm going to try to not really speak much or do too much and just rest up and it does feel like it takes way more energy to talk. Like, honestly, my jaw is getting tired just speaking. Um, but there's no, like, pain. It's just, uh, and my body feels great. Eating's weird, and it's a little humbling experience when I was eating yogurt, and it's just, like, drifts down, and, you know, it falls on me, and I go, you know, it just makes me really empathetic for people that have actual strokes and deal with these issues, you know? I mean, comparatively, I'm, I guess, th thankful in a way that it's, a pretty m mild thing that you know will dissipate with time um so you know i had a good a moment of reflection there on you know so many people have th things so much more you know worse than me so you know and that helped me to calm down relax and not give in to self-pity and uh woe is me um but i'd say right now my current state is a bit of annoyance because i'm gonna have to Tell all of my students I teach on uh, piano, I'll have to say, hey, for several weeks, I might have a funny face. Why well, might not talk as much? Which, uh, everyone's cool. I already had to I canceled my lessons today, and the parents were all very supportive and concerned. So, I mean, that's nice. It just was, I think the big thing I want to get across is, uh, man, I freaked out at the beginning. Because, I, I mean, what the hell, when you, you can't feel your face, and it's getting progressively worse, like minute by minute. I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. You, you just think this is it or it's going to spread to my whole body. 
And it was the relief I had of this, whew, it's just Bell's palsy thing, which I already knew existed. And um, I knew that it, it just kind of just rides its course. But so I say, those are the only symptoms I can think of. Me, I mean, I think I have relatively with some people a bit more mild because I can actually close my eyes. Which lots of people, the eye won't close. Um, so that's good. Uh, and I think when I raise my eyebrows, see they both raise. Maybe this one is a little more active, but with some people, this one completely stays. And it's just this side. So it's interesting for me. I mean, actually, right now, as I'm making this video, this face felt like it almost got loosened up. But I guess not. Dang it. Uh, like I said, it almost comes in waves like that. Sometimes my face almost feels regular, and sometimes it feels way more numb. And this has been, you know, I got that diagnosed at, like, let's say, 2 p.m. or 3, and it's, like, 10 now. So the main thing is I'm not sure. It's what started with neck pain. I'm not sure if the neck pain is irrelevant to this, but... So I wasn't sure if it really if I had it starting Monday and then three or four days in this is the peak, or if it just hit like that. So I was also thinking if it's a viral infection, what are some things I was doing wrong? I was using a ear earplug that I've used before, so I'm thinking I should just throw that away because it has germs on it, and maybe it was from jujitsu when I roll with people, you're sweating like crazy, and you're rolling with so many people, it's just dripping sweat, and you're just I mean it's. A really intimate sport so maybe something from there or i don't know or it just happens i really have no idea maybe it's genetic you know in my head since i already have epilepsy and there's other things you know i immediately kind of go to a heavy place but it seems to be just an infection like like a really intense cut or something or a cold so uh i don't know i just wanted to make this video to document my thoughts and hope someone out there that sees this that just got it to like things will be okay i'm feeling fine i'm not freaked out i'm just gonna try to take it easy for a bit do the meds you know it's not i'm not dying so that's good news uh, there and i don't know i hope this video just brings people some comfort um as going through this and to people that have it permanently you know I mean, my heart to you uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, when things like this happen, I go, oh, man, I need to be grateful when my face returns. Um, so, you know, I'm trying to practice that, some gra add gratitude and perspective, but just hope this video, you know, calms some people down and they can feel whew, like it's not the end of the world and I'm trying to be lighthearted about it. I'm planning on going to the gym tomorrow and jujitsu and hopefully teach some students and I'm just trying to be regular, even though my face feels weird. Um, I hope it doesn't get worse. I don't think it will. Everyone at the hospital seemed completely chill. So, uh, yeah, anyway, um, thanks for watching this. If you made it to the end, it's kind of a stream of consciousness rant. Just So, but yeah, I hope you guys get some value out of it. I also make music and all that stuff, and I think I'll have the link. So if you want to listen to my music, that would be great. And if you're not, cool. Um, if you want to leave weird comments, I guess you can. That would be weird, though. You shouldn't. Okay, everybody, peace out. Hope everyone that sees this has a lovely day. Thanks.